It's not because we live in the wood that I want to be a dirty hippie. A lot of people are asking me what I'm doing to maintain my long hair. The main secret is not to wash it. We are now entering the longest of all seasons here. It arrived overnight, like an unexpected visitor. And frankly, I wasn't completely ready for it. We woke up one morning to a foot and a half of snow, and I don't think it's going to melt anytime soon. One thing I love about winter, though, is that we spend a lot more time enjoying our cabin, and I personally tend to really give myself a lot more TLC than in the busy summer months. I also happen to be a bit more mindful about my beauty care during winter, and we thought we would share a bit about that with you today. But before that, I need to get outside and gather my most special and precious ingredient, because my whole beauty routine depends upon it. You can join me if you would like. Buddy. Hello, that's the most precious of skincare. Hello, lovely people. I hope you, you liked the little segment uh, we did at the beginning of this video. We had so much fun with the little puppies. We just couldn't help but do something a bit funny and also quite uh, nice to look at. But it was leading to a very valid point before I walk you through my little beauty and hygiene routine. And it is that, as cliche as it sounds, no matter how many product or expensive things you put on your face or anywhere else on your body, what makes you truly beautiful, I think, is feeling a lot of joy and love and gratitude. And definitely those puppies are bringing a lot of joy <laughs> into our lives lately. So we thought we would include them. It's not because we live in the wood that I want to be a dirty hippie, and I'm certainly not. I'm a very <laughs> clean person and I really enjoy having little spa days and skincare and hair care and all of that. But one thing I've learned from my past experiences with dealing with a lot of acne is that the simpler the routine is, the better, actually. So, what I do most mornings I don't do anything to my face. I just 
put my hair in a bun, I brush it, I brush my teeth and I'm basically ready to go. But when I feel a little bit fancier and I just want to have something a bit refreshing, I use uh, either rose water because we have wild roses growing and I also forage a lot of the rose petals and I make my own uh, rose water. I will spritz it all over my face and then just uh, wipe it off using this really cute reusable tampon. It's made out of an old towel and some pretty cotton fabric. That's basically it for the morning. But for my hair, what I do uh, now that I have a bang, I use dry shampoo quite a bit on it when I don't want to wash my hair. A lot of people are asking me what I'm doing to maintain my long hair. The main secret is not to wash it too often. I try to wash it only once or sometimes twice a week. And yeah, that's about it. That's about what I do. I wash it with a natural shampoo and conditioner and I leave it alone. I don't blow dry it. I don't straighten it. I don't curl it. All I do is I brush it with this very, oh, full of hair, <laughs> with this very simple hairbrush. I really like it because the bristles are really bendy, so if it catch a, a, a big knot, instead of pulling it out, it will just get stuck, so I will uh, untie the knot uh, with my hands. As I told you, I was dealing with a lot of acne when I was younger and even like in my adulthood actually, it's been only three years or so that I don't have acne anymore. And the main cause of my acne was actually a food allergy. I'm allergic to uh, bovine protein. So everything that uh, has dairy in it, I cannot have it. And also uh, beef meat. So when I figured out I was allergic to that, I cut it out completely and my acne basically uh, improved by 80% just there. If you eat something you're allergic to or just really like not healthy and inflammatory food, you might have acne as well from it. And a lot of the mainstream uh, misconception about skin in general is like when you physically see oil on your skin, doesn't mean you have oily skin. And that was a big mistake I was doing when in fact, my skin is actually dry, really dry. So what I do now is I will cleanse it with, this This is argan oil, and I will cleanse it either with this or uh, hemp oil or a very nice and hydrating oil. And that's basically all I use. Uh, when I feel a bit more fancy, as I told you, I will also use a serum once, a once in a while, but this is, a pretty new actually. I wanted to try it out, but I'm not even sure if it makes that much of a difference. How my routine goes is I will use argan oil, like a quarter size amount. I will rub it between my hands and I will massage my skin really well and also remove my mascara, which is pretty much the only makeup I use. <laughs> and I, I will just smear it all around. And then when I'm in the shower, I will again use one of these, make it damp with warm water and wipe the oils off my skin. And then when I get out of the shower, if my skin feels uh, tight or a bit dry still, then I will use the, the serum and the face oil, but not every night, like maybe twice a week or something I'll do this. While the oil cleansing, I'll do every night. So yeah, that's it for my, <laughs> for my beauty routine. It's really, really simple. Also, I use natural toothpaste to uh, brush my teeth. And the one I'm currently using is made with activated charcoal. Yeah, it's this one. But really often I make it myself. I will use just a tiny amount of charcoal and then some baking soda, coconut oil. Yeah, that's basically it. And, uh, oh, and peppermint oil. And I will brush my teeth with my electric toothbrush. And I have very healthy and I believe quite white teeth. I don't do anything else. <laughs> Yeah, so that's it for my beauty routine. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or recommendation, you can also uh, leave it down below in the comment sections. Oh, and speaking of dogs and things that makes you happy, I knitted the hat using Tippy's fur. And I've knitted this amazingly warm hat and I'm really happy about it. And I'm really excited to wear it. And it's gonna be warm and makes me happy. I know it sounds so <laughs> cliche 
Uh, but uh, joy, beauty, love, all those emotions, I think it makes you like radiate beauty from the inside out. And I think that's the main thing that people should focus on instead of fo buying a lot of products to put on their skin and hair and nails and whatnot. And why I didn't mention uh, any brand is because I really don't care about brands. Actually, I just try to find high quality product, uh, organic for the most part. Wow! Elle m'a un petit peu, t'as entendu? Elle fait wow! 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 J'ai déjà de la neige dans mes bottes. J'ai de la neige dans le front. C'est beau, par exemple. Welcome to the winter! Ah! Wow! C'est ça la slot! As you might recall from this video, I don't give much importance to products when it comes to natural beauty, and I really focus on implementing practices and routines that will improve my overall well-being, as I think beauty really comes from within, and just by being happier and healthier, it makes me see myself as being way more beautiful than any cream or treatments ever could. I hope you liked this video, it was surely a lot of fun to craft for you, and I wish you all a wonderful week.